In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the admin email in WordPress without the confirmation email. Something really annoying is that WordPress requires you to confirm the email address change for the admin email on a site, and it says it sent you an email, but 99% of the time, that email does not arrive. And this video got lucky, it actually did arrive in this video, but this is the first time it's ever arrived for any website I've ever used. Maybe they fixed that process, maybe it had a bug or something, but either way, if you have trouble getting the confirmation email to change the admin email address on a website, this video will help you get around that problem. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I'll try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. We will help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, please make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And now let's get into changing that admin email address. To get to the place where you can change the admin email for your website, you log into your WordPress dashboard and you go to settings, and then general, it will be taken to this page right here. Your page will look pretty much the exact same, just the information inside these fields will be different for you. And the admin email address can be changed right here. Now something WordPress changed maybe a year ago, a year and a half ago, if you change an email address, for example, I change it to this one, and go to save it, it now says, there's a pending change of email address to the new email. It used to be that you just change the email address and it would be changed. You wouldn't have to do this confirmation step because they don't want sites to be hijacked. The problem is this email that is sent quite often doesn't arrive. I've only had it arrive a very few number of times. And if you can't confirm the email address change, then you can't change the email address, at least through this page. The confirmation email does arrive in this case. So I'll show you what that looks like. Let's go to my Gmail account. This is the email right here. Howdy, blah, blah, blah. Click on this link to change the email. So we click on the link, logs us back into our dashboard and we have the new email. If I go back to this one and I refresh the page, we have our new email. And that's how it's supposed to work. But like I said, that email is rarely sent out. You can try messing around with SMTP plugins. You can try different email addresses in here to try to get the email. Or you can do what I'm going to show you right now because it's way faster and way easier. You log into your hosting account. In my case, it's SiteGround. You go to the cPanel. This works for any cPanel host. And most of you guys have cPanel hosts. The guys that don't, I'm not quite sure. I've never used a hosting account besides a cPanel host. So you'll have to find a way to get to the PHP MyAdmin, so you can access the MySQL database. The PHP MyAdmin is right here. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see better. This is the PHP MyAdmin. We want to go there. On the left-hand side, it has the databases for all the websites in your account. We want to find the correct website that is for our site. We just have one database, that's great. If you have multiple like I do, you have to find the exact database. Offhand, I don't know the database for this website, so I'm going to go back to cPanel. Go to File Manager, open the document root for this website, elementor2019.com, click on Go. I'm going to open the wp-config file by clicking on it, clicking Edit, clicking Edit again. And here we see the database name. And we're looking for the end part, wp318. If I go back into PHP My Admin, we have wp318. Click on the plus, or click on the link right here. Go down to the Options table. In here, we can confirm we have the right website because you don't want to do this on the wrong website because that would be wrong. And a few entries down on the same table, we have the admin email. We double click into here and we can change it. We're going to change this to Bjorn at, I just changed the admin email.com. Click on enter, it saves it. Come back out to our website, refresh. And here we have the new email address. No need to send confirmation emails, no need for any of that rubbish, because those emails rarely arrive. In this case, I got lucky. I didn't think it would arrive, but it did for this website. But most of the time when I try it, it doesn't arrive. And this way is just way, way faster. One important note, if you break something in the PHP My Admin, if you edit the wrong field and put the wrong information in the wrong field, your website can go down. And it will not go back up until you fix what you did. But there's no undo in the PHP My Admin. So you have to be very careful that you're only changing the option name admin underscore email. Double click on the email and change only this, nothing else. And your website should be just fine. If you want to back up your database just to be safe, you can do that. Go to export up here. You can keep it on quick, keep it on SQL, click on go. And this will download the database to your hard drive. Actually download just that table. 
Let's click on the full database. Let's click on right here, WP318, or we could have clicked up in the top bar. There's like a, like a breadcrumb bar up here. If I go to the options table, we see the options table as, as a breadcrumb. We can click back to the main database. Now let's export this one. Let's export all the tables. So I wanna make sure we see all the tables here. Go to export, keep it on quick, keep it on SQL, click on go. And we see the full database being exported. If your database is really large, this will take some time. If it's not so large, like this one wasn't, it'll go pretty quick. Now that we have the exported database, you can go ahead and change the admin email with some peace of mind, knowing you have a backup. And then to restore the database, you have to go back to the main database and delete everything. This part is pretty scary. You can click check all, click on drop. And now if I click yes, the entire site database is gone. So I'm going to click yes. I'm going to come back out here, refresh this page, and it wants to install WordPress again because the database is gone. To fix that, to import your original database, if something went wrong with changing the email address, click on import, choose file, find the database file we downloaded a moment ago, click on go. This will be working right here for a few minutes or a few seconds, depending how big the file is. And here it says import has been successfully finished. 123 queries executed. If we go back to the database up here, we see all our tables. If we go to the options. We see the funky email I added. So if I go back here and click back, click on refresh, we see the site is back. Go to general. Here's our email. So that's a crash course on how to back up your database in your PHP my admin. And you might be wondering, why would I back it up in here? It seems so complicated. Why don't I just use a plugin in the WordPress dashboard to back it up? The reason is, depending on what goes wrong in the PHP my admin, your website dashboard might not be accessible. You can't restore from a backup if you can't access the plugin that does the restoring. So that's why we do the backup in here. It's actually safer to do it this way because you can always access your PHP my admin. It is independent of your website on the domain out here. So even when this website is gone or broken or whatever, you can still access your PHP my admin and fix what you have to, in this case, import the database again. And if you ever wondered how to migrate a site or transfer to move from one host to another or move from a subdomain to a live site or something like that, I have a whole playlist for that kind of stuff right over here. So check out that playlist. If you ever have trouble migrating a site from various different places to various other places, I probably have a video for it over here. And if that's not what you're into, check out this video right here where I show you the top 10 most common security mistakes that I see over and over again on WordPress sites. Check that out because it's important that you keep your site safe. And then click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.